How's it going guys? Hello, hello, hello. How's it going you beautiful people? Hopefully you guys are having a wonderful day and today it's quite raining, like it's raining in the UK but you know I like when it's raining because if I'm inside you know it's quite cosy isn't it? But anyway, get out the weird intro and today talking to you guys about Grand Theft Auto 5 and talking about my like the beast pc on my current pc give you guys an update so today's video is about you guys watching some black ops 2 gameplay in the background so feel free to you know if you want to minimize the uh, video and do something else or if you want to watch the gameplay and listen to the audio that is fantastic so let's get into this video and enjoy the black ops 2 gameplay okay so uh, grand theft auto 5 okay so gta 5 Security came out objective. i think two days ago and um it's been a massive hit i mean uh, gta 5 you know, I've been a massive fan of the Grand Theft Auto series for a long time, and my favourite GTA was Vice City. People say San Andreas, but GTA Vice City was my favourite of all time. And, um, you know, GTA 5 uh, was launched uh, two days ago, and um, it's simply amazing. Now, personally, I don't have the game on me. I don't actually have, the, I don't even own the disc. Now, the reason why I don't have the game yet is because I could have had the game last Wednesday. I found, well, I knew a guy who was going to get a disc, and he was like, hey, Matt, do you want me to get you one? And I was like, well, I was thinking of getting it, but I was like, no. Because the reason why I'm not getting it yet, I'm probably get it maybe Christmas time or later on. Simply because, if you're a YouTuber, right, like I'm a YouTuber, and the difference between, say, someone, a viewer and a YouTuber, when buying a game, you know, there's two different, op there's two, like, you know, there's two options which a YouTuber can do to a game. So a YouTuber with a game like this, I can A, play the game, and B, make content on the game, which people will enjoy. Whereas, like, say someone who's not a YouTuber would be like, I'm just going to play the game. So, GTA, like, you know, I can make videos on it. But the thing is, though, with GTA is that there's so many games coming around the corner. I don't think I'll have enough time to play GTA and then, like, make videos. So, that's why I was like, well, you know, do I make videos? Do I not make videos, etc. And I was like, well, you know, what do I do? So, yes, yeah, so GTA 5 uh, came out. And I'm probably waiting until maybe Christmas time and do a Let's Play onto my channel. Well, not to my, my main channel, my second channel. Simply because there's so many people doing Let's Plays at the moment. You know, mine would get lost. And uh, to be honest, though, if I wait, you know, you know, Christmas time or whatever, people, you know, may want to re-watch GTA or people, you know, people at Christmas may want to see GTA footage. So uh, that's what I plan is to do. And plus, GTA is not a rush game because you think about it. GTA, you know, lasts for what? It took five years to build. And, um, you know, the next GTA won't be coming around next year. It'll be coming out in, like, another five years' time. So, um, you know, take my time on the Let's Play. You know, enjoy the enjoy that you're making the videos. And, um, yeah, it should be pretty cool. So, uh, so yeah, so GTA 5 came out. I want, I want to let, let you guys know. No, I want to know. Whoop. I want to know what you, you got. Yeah, I want to know what your opinions are of the game. Have you purchased the game? And um, did, you, did you guys see the, like, sales of the game already? So, um... Apparently it cost 200, I think like 230 to 250 million dollars to build. I mean, that's the highest digital, like, you know, finance to build on a game. I guess the record. And I think it's like for digital media. So, like, Rockstar, like, I think I have the record now for spending so much money on building a digital platform or digital media. And um, they made that money back on just pre orders, which is amazing. They made it back just by people pre ordering the game and it hasn't even been released yet. And I think that's pretty awesome. And I think. The good thing with Rockstar is they have trust. They, they like, you know, it's a risk. If you, if you spend $240 million on a game, you've got to say, we want to make that money back. And um, there was a, um, a fact. So here's a fact. So in the first day, worldwide, Rockstar made $900 million in 24 hours. $900 million in 24 hours. So what are we talking here? We're talking what? Three to oh, more than three times the budget they spent on the game. So the people who have Rockstar are like this. Like, like, say the CEO or something was just like, so how much was the budget this year? Like, I don't know, choose whatever you want. And the guy's like, is $230 million okay? He was like, yeah, not bad. And then, like, he sees the sales in, in, like, in the first day. $900 million? That is awesome, guys, $900 million. And the thing is, what Rockstar will then do is like this. In the next game, when, like, on the Xbox One or, the, like, the next-gen consoles, they might spend a bit more money, make it more hyped up. I'm, I'm hoping with uh, GTA... Is they hope they hopefully they bring it over to the you know the Xbox One the PS4 maybe as a digital download or maybe you have to get it installed like on the disc or maybe because PC hasn't actually been released yet maybe they're waiting for the Xbox One 
and the PS4 to come out, so they release it all at the same time, which I think would be pretty awesome. So I might just wait until the PS4, no, the Xbox One version comes out and play on the Xbox One, because obviously it may run a bit more smoother, and uh, yeah, it'd be pretty cool. So uh, yeah, so that's enough about GTA 5. Let me know in the comments down below if you guys are purchasing GTA 5. If you are, let me know. And um, I've already played it. It's a pretty good game. And uh, so yeah. Now, the PC situation, my current PC and the Beast PC. So if you've been following me a while, you might have known that I was doing... Um, well, I was planning on building a new PC from scratch, you know, buying all the components online from various stores, putting it together. Now, um, the PC I was going to build was literally going to... I think it, the PC itself was going to cost maybe £2,400. And, like, the, the three monitors were going to cost, like, £700. So we're talking, like, say, like, £3,000, £3,100, etc. And um, I was thinking, like, a lot, I think it was May, I said, yeah, I'm going to do it, definitely do it. And obviously, you get through the summer, exactly, uh, summer, blah, 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 I, I go through the summer, and I, I'm thinking, and I'm like, well, what should I do? So what I have done is, on my current PC, so my current PC is three years old, and um, it's a pretty strong PC, it's a strong PC since I've had it. But what I've done is, um, over the years, I've, I've obviously gradually upgraded the RAM, etc., and all that stuff. So my PC, current PC, has a quad-core i7 processor, which is three years old, but it's a fantastic processor. It's probably the only, probably valuable thing on the PC before I even upgraded it. Um, I've recently put in a SSD card, so um, I basically made, made my old hard drive, like the main hard drive, into an external hard drive, so I can use it for backups and stuff, which is pretty cool. Um, I have two... Uh, I think RAID 0, 2, uh, two, two terabytes. I have four terabyte hard drives for videos. I and mean, that means I can then transfer them onto my, you know, my backup drives. Or if I want to clear my PC, I have space on the other drive. And I have my SSD. So the SSD is 256 gig, which is pretty cool. It's like the Samsung Pro series. And um, it's like 540 write speed and 520 read speed or the other way around. But those, those are the numbers, 540 and 520. And uh, the PC now boots up in like 7 seconds, whereas before it would take like, I don't know, like 16, 17 seconds. So it feels like a new PC because the PC is extremely fast now, and I think that's pretty awesome. That the PC is just like, boom! Like, the PC is just like banging, if you get me. So uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. So um, a lot of you guys might be thinking, why are you like... Oh yeah, and also I purchased a GTX 660. So I wasn't going to maybe go for a 680 or a 670, but I went for the GTX 660A because... I only have two slots, like, so if you got you PC guys, you know, you know on the, or PC, PC guys will know, but I'll try and explain it for the non-PC guys, and the non-people who actually go inside their PC, but where the PCI, are, the PCI slots are, um, I've only got, like, five, so I have one for my capture card, one for my wireless card, and, uh, and I only have four, and I have, um, one for my graphics card, and the graphics card takes up two slots, because like the, the how width like the width of it, so basically, um, I could have brought a 680, but that takes up three slots, and I thought, well, do I do it or not? And I, like, I, I would have lost something else. So basically, I brought a 660, and the reason why I brought a 660 was because like my old um, graphics card was about three years old, like the same age as the PC, and this graphics card is fantastic. I think it was only 180 pounds. It was a very good upgrade, and um, obviously my Beast PC, I obviously it will eventually, you know give it the full whack of like the seven this gtx 780 but yes yeah, so, so the current pc is running superb very fast indeed i love it rendering is like boom like it's amazing now it uses the graphics card and the processor so at the, at the same time which is another program i use which is amazing but yes yeah, so the beast pc i don't know what i'm actually going to call it i was going to call it i don't know the gaming pc or i don't know the beast 2 i don't know some other name maybe put the comments down below what i should name my new pc but um, say three thousand pounds. So it's three thousand pounds to build it, and I was thinking of doing it. But then I was like, well, I've just you know upgraded my current PC. Why don't I use my current PC, and then still save up more money, and then maybe, maybe Christmas time, maybe some deals going on, or maybe when the GTX 790 comes out, because obviously the 780 and 770 got released, um, I think a few months ago, and obviously the 690 and the Titan are better than those. But when the 790 comes out, the 790 will be better. No, the 780 is better than the 680 and the, I believe the 690. But the Titan and the 690 are pretty much the same. But I think the Titan is the better version. Well, no, the 690 is actually. And I can't wait until the 790 comes out. Because when the 790 comes out, it'll just blow all minds. And I'm thinking about waiting for that card because that'd be pretty awesome. But yes, yeah, so I was thinking, you know, when do I buy this thing? And um, 
Like, £3,000 for me, like, I don't know, how do I say it's not in a bad way, but like, or like in an arrogant way. But like, £3,000 for me, like, if I were to spend £3,000 now, it wouldn't be like, oh my god, I've got no money left. £3,000 would be like, oh, £3,000 gone, not a massive big deal. But because I've been working so much in the summer, I've obviously gradually got more money, etc. So, at, at the moment, the buying the graphic, the graphics, <laughs> buying the new PC basically depends on, you know, maybe when the 790 comes out, maybe that's when I'll buy it, you know. Who knows? But that's probably when the time I'll buy it, you know. I'll probably, this PC is doing fantastic for me at the moment. And um, what the plan is, is I have my beast, my second PC, which is, I don't know, we'll call it the beast PC because it's the better PC. Have that PC for, uh, like, PC gaming, rendering, etc. on two monitors. And then on the other monitor, I have my current PC for, say, doing uh, maybe university work, you know, programming, etc. But, you know, most people who upgrade their PC, they normally just have, you know, their second, their, like, they basically get rid of the old PC and put the new PC in. But, I think, while my current PC is still awesome, have two PCs running at the same time, you know, will be... You know, having one PC maybe for university work, etc. Or use the gaming, or use the Beast PC for, like, I'm sort of using my, my current PC for, like, recording. Like, recording Xbox footage, etc. And then use the Beast PC for gaming, maybe coursework, etc. And so, actually, my other PC is literally just for recording. And then I transfer the files over to my, um, to my you know, my Beast PC. And that would be how it would work, I think. That would be pretty awesome. But uh, yeah, so anyway guys, thank you guys for watching. I know it's been a long video, it's a long time since I've had a chat with you guys. But let me know if you like this type of chat, if you do, let me know in the comments down below. But anyway guys, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Have a nice day guys.